I want to welcome you to my screencast and hope you're doing well. My name is Sebastian and today's topic is all about Jira and its integration with developer tools. Jira is an issue tracking system to plan and track software developing processes, which means you can create user stories and issues, plan sprints and distribute tasks across your software team. One of Jira's greatest features is its integration with developer tools, which not only enables it to pull information about code changes, builds and deploys right into the issue, but also allows repository committers to perform actions such as transitioning Jira software issues within a commit message. This feature is called Smart Commits. Smart Commits allow us to comment on issues, record time tracking information against issues and transition issues to any status defined in the Jira software project's workflow. I've already set up a repository for our project called Smart Jira. But before we start, you have to connect your Bitbucket account with your Jira server. And you'll need to have admin permissions on both to do so. To establish a connection, you use the DVCS connector provided by Jira, which requires an OAuth access token that you can create in your Bitbucket account. You should create the access token in the Bitbucket account that owns the repositories you want to link. If you are linking repositories for a team, you should generate this token using the team account. In my case, I am switching from my personal account to a team account, but the following steps are the same for both. Under Access Management, select OAuth and click the Add Consumer button. After that, you'll have to enter a name, a description and the URL for the Jira software instance. You also have to select all the required permissions, which are Write for Account, Admin for Repositories and Read for Pull Requests. Press OK to create your consumer. You can access your OAuth key and your secret value by clicking the name of your new consumer. After you created a key and a secret in Bitbucket, you leave the Bitbucket tab opened and go to your Jira software server to enter the account, the OR key and the secret. To do so, you log into your Jira as a user with admin permissions, choose Applications from the Settings icon, click DVCS Accounts from the Integrations selection on the left and click the Link Bitbucket Cloud or GitHub Account button. Then you choose Bitbucket Cloud as the host value and the team or a user account name copy the OAuth key and secret values from your Bitbucket Cloud account into the dialog and click add. After that a dialog will appear in your Bitbucket tab where it asks you to grant Jira access to your repositories. Do so to finish the process. Oh, and it's important that you tick off both the auto link and the smart commits field under the settings Otherwise, Jira won't synchronize new repositories and you won't be able to use smart commits. Now that you've established a connection between Jira and Bitbucket, let's create a project. Our project today is going to be a Scrum software development project. We'll enter name and the key will be automatically generated. To showcase the usage of smart commits, we will create a simple text file and write a few lines into it. So let's add a few tickets, create first file, add first words and insert a smiley. Good, now we will create a sprint. To add tickets to a sprint, you simply drag it into the sprint. Now we press start sprint and set it to a duration of one week. I guess that's doable. Now let's work on our first ticket. And we've saved our file. I've already created a folder and added the connection to my Bitbucket repository. After you've done the same, we can commit the file and finish the first task. So, let's add the file to the repo. And to connect the commit to the ticket, we simply have to write the Jira project key and the issue number into the commit message. Now 
and of course we also have to push the changes to our repository. Everything seemed to work fine, so let's check out our project. Let's check the repository first to see if the commit appears there. Ok, it's here. So let's check the Chiver project and see if the commit appears in the tickets information. It's not here, strange. Let's reload the page and see if that will help. Hmm, still missing. It seems that Shira did not synchronize the Bitbucket repository correctly. To fix this issue we simply go to the DVCS settings and press refresh list. And now the commit should be linked to the ticket. Nice. So let's check our work. Mm, so let's say 5 minutes. Okay. And now we can move our task to done and start the next one. And we also don't need the admin access any longer. Now let's add some famous words to our file. <laughs> Good, let's commit our changes. But this time we're going to add something else to the message. Hashtag time, let's say 10 minutes, and hashtag done. Those comments just upgraded our commit to a smart commit. With hashtag time, we can track our work, and with hashtag done, we can transition the ticket to done without opening Jira once. Pretty cool, isn't it? So let's check out if everything worked out as planned. The commit is here, so let's check the ticket. As we can see, 10 minutes were added to the locked work and our ticket was moved to done. Just one ticket left. Great, let's add a smiley to the file. I think I saw one hiding in my clipboard this morning. Let's have a look. Oh really, it's quite fancy too. So for the last time, let's write the commit message. <laughs> this time we not only want to log our work and transition the ticket, but we also want to add a comment to the ticket telling everyone how fancy our smiley is. To do so, we use the command hashtag comment in our commit message. Let's reload the page and check if the comment is there. There it is. 
Under the development section, we can see all the commits related to the ticket. Now there is just one thing left to do, and that's to complete the sprint. And we're done! That's the end of this screencast. I hope you've enjoyed it. Have an awesome day. Bye.